all right guys um, uh, this is a how-to video real quick on how to create car seat covers using the templates with uh, subliminator for Canva even though it's not the best idea and the templates aren't made for it I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick so um, I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna go to the product info on the car seat covers going to scroll down, we're going to download this design template, and then you're going to extract it. Once it's done, and once you get it downloaded and extract this all out to your drive, I've already done this, so it's probably going to tell me I'm going to overwrite it, or maybe not. And then um, we're going to... Uh, go over here and we're going to look at the print file size and it says 42.6 by 53.3 so we're going to go into Canva and we're going to create a new file a new design and we're going to do it by 42.6 by 53.3 inches create a new design and this is going to give us our um, Our template size and then we can come over here and go to uploads and you want to already uploaded it but you can go to your uh, device go to your downloads folder go into your car seat folder and then you got a double and a single always use the single because it's a lot easier there it is right there did it again and then you want to take it and you want to drag it over here we're gonna to have to make this bigger so it's the size let's see what does it say 42.3 right around there should almost fit in there a little bit more there we go so now our template is fully on there. And then um, you add your design, your text. I don't know why it does that. Maybe there's a, I don't know if there's a way to lock the layers or whatever. But this stupid thing keeps disappearing for some reason. Um, there we go. I don't know if there's a way to lock this. Send it back. Maybe we can do that. Set images as background. All right. Then you want to bring your um, pictures in that you want to put on here. Put on what you want. And if you look at these lines, the red line on this seat template, that is your um, safe area. So wherever you put something in there, it will be displayed on the seat. And then outside of that is your bleed area. So let's say we want to put that there, say we want to add some text to it, um, do you know, three or four lines of text up here, and then uh, you want to go ahead and once you got everything set up in here, you want to go ahead and, and um, delete it, delete your background so you don't want the um, template to show anymore. You don't want that showing up on your car seat. And then once you got that, you're going to go up here. You're going to download it. And you really need um, to own Canva to be able to do transparent backgrounds. I'm not paying for this. So our car seat's going to have a white background. And once your design is downloaded, you're going to go back over here to um, Subliminator. And we're going to go into it back over to the seat create product whoop need to go back all right and you want to go up here and go to single which is because that's the template we used and you want to go in here you want to upload your um, design that you did it should be right there 
I'm actually in my truck on the road at a truck stop um, on I-80 just before uh, Iowa. So my internet speed isn't the greatest. And there's your template. It should show up. And boom, it pops in there pretty much perfect how you did it in there. Make sure everything's lined up. Um, if you have a transparent background set, you can come over here and you can choose the color that you want your car seat to be. But we have a um, white background there. You can upload and add more designs to it. You can add personalized text. You can um, add a personalized a personal image. And then once you got everything set, you're going to come over here. And uh, let me show you something also. When you use Canva, the DPI on this is only 96 DPI, which is not good. That's another reason you don't want to do this. You want a high quality program like Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer where you can have a, a much higher DPI setting. And you go to uh, mockups, choose the one you want. I generally like this one. You're going to choose, uh, you know, generate your selected mockup. Again, my internet isn't the greatest right now. And bam, there we go. It's created your mock-up, so you can see what it looks like. If it looks good, you're gonna go over here, you're gonna make sure, you know, say that you own these, and then you can come up here, put in your product title, whatever you're gonna do, you know, gamer, gamer, seat cover, come down here, edit your product description, I take most of this junk out of here and leave the stuff that is uh, applicable, go in here, you can add your product tags that you want to it, come over here, set your retail price, I recommend um, $69.99, I mean you could do, you can go lower but you're not going to have that much of a profit, you can come over here and see, like in the um, US, You'll make $23.99 and after $10 average for your um, advertising, that means you have a $14 profit because shipping is free on here. And then when you've got everything set up, you press submit to store and it will show up in your Shopify store. Now I want to show you something um, that's a little bit better. Um, let's do Affinity. Let's do Affinity Designer. And we come in here, and in here, you can create a new, you can either open the file directly and um, not have that much control over it, or you can come over here and we can change it from pixels to inches. And it was uh, what 42.3 by 53 point is that what it was? I forget. Subliminator back, back, back. All right, then the 42.6 by 53.3. So 42.6. and we can set our DPI in here so we know it's going to be at a high quality when we're done you can choose the, um, the type of print you want it to be I believe theirs is RGB but a lot of places you CMYK which is why sometimes when you create stuff and it doesn't show up that good on these print providers it's because you're doing it in RGB and not CMYK so it's good to look for that and I believe they say on here, um, yes, S uh, sRGB is what they use. So that's what you want to use. Make sure you read all this stuff. If you see here, it says minimum DPI 150. So that one we made in Canva is probably going to come out blurry. It's not going to look sharp and all that stuff. We want a transparent background. We're going to go ahead and create this. And then we can come in here 
and we can get that same template right here and place it in here and we can stretch that out So it's perfectly in there, and um, it's way easier in here to do stuff. You can come in here, we can add our designs that we want to um, put in here. So like say, um, let's see, we can do this tribal design, put that in here, stretch it out. Duplicate this layer, boom, move it, line it up. Say we want to do a, um, a green background on here. Come over here, choose our square, put that on there, change the color, make it pink. We'll do a pink one. How about that? And then you can move this so it's. Um, behind your design so it's in the background and then when you got everything done you just uncheck the car seat so it doesn't show up come up here export got everything in there export name it pink tribal and then once it's done you Go back into um, Subliminator. Close this. Create our product. Go back up to single. Put the image in. That thing's still exporting. That's yeah, a big a big file you can tell the difference between using um canva and this because this is a really big file think about how big your car seat is there we go all right we should be able to see that show up there we go it's pink tribal i'm gonna open that up and we're dealing with my slow internet connection again. I think I'm getting about two to three megabytes a second, something, somewhere around there. It's really good when I'm in a nice populated area and I get 5G, I get like 85 megabytes per second upload or download speed. And the upload speed usually, it doesn't matter where I'm at, it's like two to three megabytes a second. So it takes a bit to upload files. But everything else seems to work pretty good. And it is uploaded. Should be uploaded. Please wait. Man, I can't wait for Elon Musk to get his uh, satellite internet thing going where people can have 10 gigabyte per second download speeds anywhere in the world, even in the middle of the woods. It'd be awesome for us truck drivers. All right, well, it's taking forever, so I'm just going to choose this one that we made here. And you can see, well, nope, actually this one I created with a different program. But this one is 150 dpi, which is their recommended. Let's see if that other file showed up yet. There it is. And there we go. See? 400 dpi. So you know this design right here is going to be super, super tight. 